how to build a Wix website for free. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with creating your own Wix website completely for free. So let's jump right in. To get started, head on over to Wix.com and then click on get started. From here, you can sign up to create your Wix account. I already have one so I'm just going to log on and you can use Google, Facebook or Apple to create your account or just use your email address. That is all you need for your Wix account. I'm just going to click on continue with Google and I'm just going to proceed with a Google sign up. If you do not have an account with Wix, you can just proceed with your sign up. And within this, you do not have to provide any type of payment info because Wix is a completely free drag and drop website builder, which allows you to build amazing websites for free without having to put in your card info, without having to provide any kind of trial info at all. And this is what most people love about using Wix is that their free plan is free forever. You do not need any extra upgrades to use that. So I'm going to add my email over here, lilyguidesyou at gmail.com. And we're going to continue on with our email. And now I'm just going to log into my Wix account to get started. Now, there are a few different ways that you can get started. You can set this with start off with a chat with Wix AI and it will build a template for you. Or you can set it up without chat. I'm going to skip this and I'm going to skip the onboarding questions from my website as well. The reason for this is because it truly is something you can do later on. And I do like to show you guys some templates that you can, you know, play around with. However, this this is really important to fill out. So this particular pop-up, you want to name your website. So let's say my website is going to be called, I'm going to make a blog. So this is going to be Lily's Life. And then I'm going to click on continue. And the basic purpose is to promote myself and build a community. After that, I want to add my Wix app. So for me particularly, I do not want any of these. I only want the blogging application. And then click on continue to dashboard. Now, once you do that, your dashboard for your Wix website will be created. Now, one thing to note is that if you want to connect your own custom domain to Wix, then you do have to upgrade. But if you are looking to get started with a free domain, then you do not have to opt for a premium plan. Now, once we've done that, we can go into AI chats and we can use AI support for our web building. But first off, I'm going to go into blog on the left with our free website. And you guys can see currently there are no, you know, posts or blogs. If you want to add some content before you get started with web design, you can do that. But I prefer to directly move on into website design. So we're going to go into our basic setup over here and then click on design site on the top right. Once you do that, this is going to head on over into two options. You can customize a template or you can generate with AI or you can continue with your setup and get started from scratch. We're going to design our general design or wireframe or template with the help of AI and then we're going to customize it. So we're going to head on over into the Wix website editor to get started with our site. Now from here, you guys will see it is going to generate a site brief based upon the first version of your site and then it is going to allow us to edit our site brief brief later on and that will edit the template that it creates. So you guys can see the site content will be generated based upon your site description, based upon your site profile and site structure. With one particular page, your theme will feature modern fonts with sophisticated design and off-white blue and orange. You will have a layout with a sophisticated design of overlapping elements. So right now it is altering and, you know, giving us or generating the design that we want. On the right side, you will be able to see a preview of this as well. Now, personally, I do want to opt for something a bit different. So I am going to be altering this to my personal liking. Now, within this, first off, I am going to go directly into continue with this design and I want to click on continue to the Wix website editor so that I can proceed with my web design. Now, from here, it is adding the Wix blog application. And once my design is prepared for editing, I can proceed with editing on the Wix website editor, which is pretty intuitive to use. On your left side, you will have a menu bar where you can add and remove elements, pages, applications, and general settings. So starting off, I'm going to go into the top and this is our header. Now, I don't like the way that this block is structured. So 
I'm going to hold this design and place it here. Then I'm going to hold the text and then place the text over here. I like the way it's structured, but I don't like the layout. And then I'm going to move this container box simply by holding it like so. And now once I have moved it like so, I'm just going to recenter the image. So we have our auto elements and then we can click on settings and then we can see we have these images but i want to just resize the entire box together so this container box and then this image box as well so clicking on the image i'm going to resize this because i don't want this to be a super large front page once i do that i'm going to place this at the center and then I'm going to add this like so. Now from here, I'm going to click on the background image and then click on change background. Then I'm going to go into image over here. And you guys can see it has selected its own media. I'm going to search for family over here because I want this to be like a lifestyle blog or something along those lines. And I just want or maybe cooking. I'm going to search for cooking over here and... I want it to feel very homey, so I'm going to go with this image here. Once I've done that, I will also alter the readability. So currently, you guys can see the image is very saturated. So I'm going to click on these settings over here, and you can choose the filters, object erasers, AI image editors, and overlays. So I'm going to add a slightly gray black overlay. So you can alter this however you want. I'm just going to make it slightly less bright, and I'm going to reduce the highlights within the image, as well as add some shadows, and then click on save. This helps the text and the things on top to be more visible. Now once we've done that, you're just going to click on save, and just like so, our image will be altered now i'm going to click on this and then i'm going to like add this hi welcome to lily's blog and then at the bottom i'm going to write here i show you all about my life as a mother sister daughter and wife and then from here i'm going to change the color of the text to white because that's the color that i want to be using so i can select the text click on edit go into color go into white like so click on edit color and then white and i'm going to remove this button here this button because it's not something that is going to be necessary to me i'm going to click on delete now i'm going to reduce the size of this section like so and just like so you guys can see there's a gallery section in this so i'm going to click on pages and menus on the left and then i'm going to remove the gallery section because it's not needed and then i have my blog section once everything looks nice i can click on save on the top right and then save and continue now just like so i can publish my blog right away or i can go back into dashboard by clicking on go back and then i can get started with first adding a couple of blogs to add my blogs all i have to do is click on blogs on the left once I do that, I can click on create posts to start publishing and posting my blogs. And just like so, you can create your own free website using Wix. I hope you guys found this video helpful, and if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.